So, let me guess, you put your distractions away, get your books ready, and yet you lose focus and maybe start a daydream. Hey bestie, in this video, I'll be explaining some study tips that will help you stay focused and some tips to help you from daydreaming. So, let's start. Study tip number one, write your thoughts down. This is a unique tip which I do when I feel like daydreaming. Here, when you will realize you are daydreaming, stop right there and write that thought down. Because if you will not write that down and start to minimize it, then you will daydream about that again. And if you feel like checking your phone or going to YouTube or playing games, write that things down and do that after your study section. And I prefer you to write that in a small notebook or in a paper so that after everything you can check that notebook or paper and understand which thought is distracting you the most and you can work to minimize it. Here when you will sit to study, take that paper or that notebook and write the date and write the topic you are studying then list down every thought yet that you are daydreaming. Then after your study section, look at that list, then highlight the thought which multiplies so much and work to minimize it. Next, study tip number two. Two time management tips. So here I'm going to introduce two different time management tips. So if you have trouble focusing for a long time in your studies, then the first time management tip is for you. And after that, the second time management tip is to do when you are able to study for a long time with the help of the first time management tip. So let's go. Next, study tip number three, time management tip number one. Here, when you will sit to study, start a stopwatch and stop it when you will feel like daydreaming or when you will start to lose the focus. Then look at that time, then this is your starting time. So for example, if your time is 15 minutes, then your starting length will be 15 minutes. So you need to start studying for 15 minutes, then take small breaks in between those study sections. But in those breaks, don't use your phone or any digital things. But go get a snack or close your eyes for a bit until you are ready to study. And it is very important to walk away from your study space to take a break. Because it is really important for two reasons. First, it will make your brain confused that that area is for studying or that area is for doing fun because you need to get in the mood of studying when you are sitting in that area. Second, it can make your studying boring and cause you to lose focus 10 times more. Now, after a week, extend that time into 5 minutes, like 15 to 20, 20 to 25, and so on. This tip is really wonderful because when you will start daydreaming, the timer can off automatically and you can also stay focused in the set of time because you already know when you are going to daydream. Next, study tip number 4 and time management tip number two now you can study more time with focus with the help of my first time management tip now when you will look at that tip you can see there are a lot of breaks most of the task will take more than that time and taking break after a certain time can also disturb your workflow Instead of taking break every time after a limited amount of time, you can only take a break after finishing one task. But if your task is a bit time consuming, you can split that big task into so much simple task and take breaks after completing one task. Next, study tip number 5, my secret weapon. 
This is a secret weapon I use when I start to lose my focus. Here you need to turn on a time lapse when you are studying. It is so precious because it can help you stay motivated and I swear that you will see that again and again and be proud of yourself. And you can also see this video when you are feeling demotivated or when you are losing your motivation. If you are going to implement any of the tip from this video, then please try this one. Try this and thank me later. Next! Study tip number 6. How to make your study space. So, we see a lot of study space like these. But I prefer you not use these if you are a person who lose focus easily. So I know that a study space should look motivational. When I try to make my study space look like this, it was really hard to stay focused and study. I don't even want anything to lose my focus. I can't even manage to daydream on a plain walk. So if you want your area to be pretty and you want to stay focused while studying, then please hear this. If you want both, then clean your study space in front of you and decorate your study space behind or beside you so your room is pretty but you can stay focused while you're studying next study tip number seven crosses here you can draw a few cross lines on some memo pads and stick to the objects that you know which will make you daydream you can also write each goals on that memo pad and stick to it. This will help you to go back to study when you are seeing those memo pads while you are daydreaming. Don't worry, if you don't have a memo pad, what you can do is take a paper and use scissor and cut that paper into pieces and then stick that with the tape. It is your own choice. So, if you have made it this far, so like this video, subscribe and turn on the notification bell and set it to all so you don't miss my future uploads. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. See you in my next video.